nice and simple to start off with, just so you get the routine and, and you see that there's lots and lots of traffic involved. All you're going to do, oranges, is you're just going to dribble through to get to the orange mat. Once you get to the orange mat, nice sharp turn, and then you're going to come back. Now, you don't need to work a straight line. So if I'm Charlie, I might go to this one first, nice sharp turn, but then I might go to that orange mat, so I've got a bit of, a bit of a trick and through. Yeah, but you don't need to work straight lines. Make sense? Blues, all you're going to do to start off with is you're going to have a good touch at your feet, Rudy. Touch, come to me. Good, good ball. Yep. Out my feet, take my place, Rudy. Sharp turn. Good touch, good, good touch at your feet. And again, Rudy, so in there, touch out of feet. So th that might almost be what? Running with the ball. That one there might be, what's the topic? Dribbling and running with the ball. Does everyone understand? Yep, off you go. Your decision is there's space, can you run with it? If there's not, you've got to have nice tight touches. Good Dan Bradshaw, good adjustment of the body, good balance, well done. If there's space, can we exploit it? Good Ben Wyatt. So the warm up we started with was uh, a very, in a very, very tight area. So it was really encouraging them to have a tight touch when they're dribbling, looking at using all parts of the feet, using both feet, where they'd have to dribble through some traffic and knowing what's around them. Condition it slightly different now. Blues, you're going to be passers. Play off. Go on, Dan. So it might be that I take a touch away from him to play in there. Good. It might be, yep, that you play and you have to slow down and you might have to have a little tight touches around the football. But we need to dribble and run with, run with the ball. But what do we need to have up? Head scanning, checking, knowing what's around you. Off you go, play. Good. Can you run with the ball? You might have to stop, really look after your pass. You might have to stop it. Now, slightly different setup with Joel is you've got your passers, but you can play into Joel now. So we're looking for Joel, nice tight touch, half turn to play. But here's the next thing. You can, Dan, play to any orange. So it might come into me. I might have a touch. I might miss Joel out and play Jake. But what have we got to do here? What's important? Eye contact, information, communication. Fantastic. If you play a pass, you get a point. If you get from one orange mat to the other, you get yourself a point. So blues, you're in competition with each other, and oranges, you're in competition with each other. Play. You've got to talk. Give information. Don't stand still, Joel. Movement off those yellow mats, oranges. 18, 18, 19, 19, 19 17. Close. Within the dribbling and running with the ball session, you've got a lot of passing within it because in a game scenario, it's their decision because sometimes it won't be a dribble, it'll have to be a pass or sometimes that pass could be a dribble. So I don't want to take it away from them saying that they can't pass the ball, it's all dribbling. 